It is hump day. Can you believe that? Like, we're flying through this week now. Ba-boom, 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 Wednesday. It, it does kind of seem like it's going fast. Yeah, so you, uh, two weeks ago, the week went super fast for you, remember? On Friday, mm-hmm. you are like, I can't believe it. And then last week, you said it was dragging on. Yeah, last week seemed very slow. So then this week, is back to fast. Whew. Awesome. And that's the little recap of how your weeks have been feeling <laughs> with Connie and Curtis. That's just Connie. I don't know what I like better, that or the psoriasis versus ringworm talk. Man. Or your updates about the Kardashian game. I'm not really sure what, about, what my favorite thing so far today is. What about when I was telling you all the different Polish names? <laughs> like that, reading the phone book. Yeah. I like that one. What we, a day it has become, you we, know? We've been busy today. We have I'm been not, super busy. I'm not going to lie to you. I got uh, right now seven signs that you uh, should be dating your friend. Do you want these? Yes, you have, please. Let's say you have a friend and you're not sure if you should be dating them, okay? okay. You know that you're all, you're all good uh, as friends. Is it time to date them? Okay. Here we go. Number one. Yes. You were sick one day. They sat and they watched Netflix with you all day. That's a super good friend. It's a great friend. Mm-hmm. This is your friend. They sat there. You're sick. They sat with you. They, they threw all the things away. Mm-hmm. Number two. My husband doesn't even do that. Well, your husband? Okay, maybe you shouldn't date your husband then. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, his family loves <laughs> you, and you love his family. Mm. You already fit in, okay? Mm-hmm. These are signs that you should date your friend. Mm-hmm. You are both totally obsessed with your savings accounts. Now, the reason for that is yeah, if, you, if you have one person who doesn't save any money mm-hmm. and one person who saves all the money, then mm-hmm. they fight. So if you both are, have that in common, like okay. you, you got, you got, you're stable. Okay. Uh, number, number four. But wait. Yeah, go ahead. These are reasons that you should be dating your friend. Now, in your relationship, wouldn't you say, Curtis, that you are the one who would spend every penny if you had it? Yes. And Katie is the one who makes you save it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is true. So it can work. Oh, well, no, it does work. Yeah. But this just says, like, there will be no fights about it. And when, right. you're, when you're dating. It's just one fight, you can check off the list. When you're, you're dating, it's it. different. Because if I say, hey, let's go to Michigan's Adventure, mm-hmm. and you don't have $45, you're right. like, no, uh, you have to pay for me. And right. then you have to eat. And you're thinking, I can't afford a day at Michigan's Adventure. I got to get all the food. I got to mm-hmm. be drinking pop. Uh, you know, so so just just bear okay. bear with me on this okay. list here. Okay. Uh, number four, the number four reason you should be dating your friend, you will let them dog sit while you're out of town. Because you only do that to somebody you really you trust. You trust them. You right. trust them with the dog, mm-hmm. right? Okay, here you go. This one's a classic, okay? Reason you should be dating your friend. If you have a friend and you're wondering, should I be dating them? (laughs) He notices when you're not wearing sweatpants and says something. (laughs) What does that mean? You're wearing sweatpants all the time? So when you look good, actually? uh, It says, uh, you know, you hear about, uh, he doesn't mind that you wear the sweatpants, Mm -hmm. but he notices if you have some nice pants on, and he'll say, Where are you getting this list from? (laughs) These are great jeans. Was this from Seventeen Magazine or something? This is from... Glamour? Cosmo? It seems a little young for Cosmo. This is from Bill Gates and the folks at MSN. It is not. It, yeah, a thousand percent is. <laughs> Bill it, Gates wrote the article. Uh, well, I'm Bill sure. Gates is in charge of MSN, uh, right? Isn't Bill Gates in charge of MSN? No. <laughs> Women's Health Magazine is where this it is coming seems from. Seems a little young for Women's Health. Women's magazine. Health. Okay. Uh, so if you got some nice jeans on and he says, "Hey, you got nice jeans," uh, <laughs> here you go. Signs you should be dating. Your friend. Wait, this is how Why Bill and Melinda this? got together. Yes. This, this is number six. Okay. Was like, Damn, girl, you look good without your sweatpants You're on. Nice Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're wearing those Levi's very well today, I would like to point out. And uh, your dog ate a lot of things in my house when I was uh, watching it for you. Uh, number six. You yes. hug. You used to hug like you had friends, but now you notice that you're hugging a little longer. <laughs> oh, my God. Women's Health Magazine. Bill Gates is so romantic. He is. Bill Gates knows knows what he's talking about. Yes. And here we go. (laughs) The number seven, the number seven reason you should be dating your friend. (laughs) What is so funny? (laughs) Just think about Bill Gates. Bill Gates is a lover. With a close hug. He's a lover. He's got his glasses. I mean, he looks real good, and they're all fogged up. (laughs) Especially after the rainstorm <laughs> yesterday, right? Uh, the the oh. final reason you should be dating a friend, if you're on the fence, you're on the fence about dating, and this is from Bill Gates himself, <laughs> the man behind Microsoft, MSN, right. and Women's All Health right. Magazine. Yep. The uh-huh. event about your love lives to each other, 
and you almost always agree. So if right. if you say something to your friend about, oh my gosh, uh, uh, that person did that thing to me, and then the person <laughs> is like, yeah, I don't know why that person would do that thing to you, mm -hmm. then you know you should start dating. So just start dating huh. your friends is what it's all about. That's what Bill Gates wants. It's just a song. <laughs> All just dating our friends. He's very romantic. And having a good that time. You know, at Bill Gates' house, like, when you walk into a room, if it knows, who, like, you as a person who lives there, it will change the art on the walls. Wow. And the temperature to suit, like, your fancy without you even having to do anything. What, what if, happens if a whole bunch of you walk in at right. the same time? <laughs> I don't know. I think it probably just stays like, the uh, same. Uh, but I know it's, like, programmed for him and his wife and his that's kids. awesome. Do you think he has to say something? Or does it just notice? Like, does he go, I think it knows. Bill! And he walks it's in. Cool. I don't even know if it says anything. I think it just does it. Connie! It kind of surprises me, actually, that um, because I know he is so frugal, he said he wasn't going to leave his children any money. Is that Bill Gates who said that? Yeah. He said, I don't want my kids to have any of this. No, I don't want them to be entitled, blah, blah, okay. blah. So I'm not leaving them any money. Well, he and does... they know this, and they accept it. I mean, one of them was like four. He like, has okay, kids? Dad. I'm choked up. <laughs> yeah. Bill Gates has kids? So it surprises me that yes. he is that, you know... Spent that amount of money. Isn't Bill Gates like 70 years old? No. How old is Bill Gates? I think Bill Gates is probably like in his, like, yeah, I was say his 50s. 50s or 60s. And he has kids. He just seems like a 70 year old. Doesn't he? He's 58. <laughs> He's 58 years old. Okay. And he has one, two, three children one, two, Rory, three. Jennifer, and Phoebe. Hey, Rory, Phoebe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jennifer, get in here. And then they all run in, and the art starts freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> the heat kicks on. The AC's on. All right, leave. Leave the room, Rory. Get out of here. Uh, and, and who sets that for them? Because, you know, Rory's know. not in charge of setting the thermostat. They got a thermostat guy. Yeah, he a heating in. and cooling company. They come, HVAC <laughs> comes in. <laughs> HVAC's in, and they're like, all right, what's your preference there, Mr. Gates? And he's like, oh, yeah, I want uh, 71. Why does the heating and cooling guy have to talk like that? <laughs> uh, he's, he's a, I, I, what's your preference there, Mr. Gates? He's a tough guy. <laughs> How about you, Rory? What do you want? What do you want it, Rory? And that, that's Bill, or is this, is this the heating and cooling no, guy? Bill, I assume, talks like this. Oh, yeah, he does kind of look like he talks I like I would that. like the heat uh, to be at <laughs> 81 <laughs> degrees, please. <laughs> I'll be I'm wearing like 81. Worn. That's I'll, so high. That's I'll, so high. Who's that talking? <laughs> that's, <laughs> you. that's this lady. That's how she talks. You know who. You've been uh, talking like that a lot today. <laughs> Bill. You know what I don't like is uh, work. Apple Ugh. computers. You know who's not bad looking? I hate apples. Jennifer Gates. How old is she? 18. Ugh. Seasons open. <laughs> 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 right? 18 You're years creeping old. creeping on Bill Gates' You're the kid. Worst. I am. No, she's cute. You would not expect that. Hold the pewter up. Let me see. What does Bill Gates' wife look like? Because she must be a I'm sure model. she's smoking hot. <laughs> Have you ever uh, seen Melinda Gates before? I, I feel like she is pretty... Normal looking. All right, let's see. I don't want mo normal looking. If I'm the richest <laughs> man in the world, I'm not dating normal looking. Well, I'll what tell do you that. think Bill Gates well, is? Do you like think he's normal looking? No, but he's he, a bazillionaire. Yeah, I you feel date like Bill who Gates looks like a normal guy. <laughs> but I feel like he probably met, he married Melinda in 1994, so they probably met before Windows and Microsoft. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. Does she, they look normal. She looks normal. like she could work at the North Pole. <laughs> what does that mean? Doesn't she You're have kind worst. of elf face? Work at the North Pole. She has elf face going a little bit, Melinda Gates. Well, now you definitely aren't going to get any of their money, even if you do get with her. No, the kids aren't having their money. <laughs> exactly. They, yeah, Jennifer's not going to, yeah. Mm -mm. Jennifer will have no money. Jennifer, She's going to have none. Jennifer's cute. Huh. Look at this picture. <laughs> a little dress going on. Not bad, Jennifer Gates. Nice work. <laughs> Happy 18th birthday. I don't know how old she is, like how far past 18. I think 18. Melinda Gates is cute. I mean, I don't think she looks elf-like. Old elf face Gates <laughs> <laughs> is what they call her. <laughs> and she's not. Wow. Maybe she is. Maybe she's fine. Maybe that's just a bad picture I was looking at. Like it was the it's sun. It's not even was, a bad picture. The sun was scrunching up her eyes. I don't know. You wanted her to look like little girl Gates. Yeah. It's surprising to me. <laughs> yeah, I do. Wait, Jennifer Gates is married? <laughs> she's 18. And she's married. Is she? Ugh. Thanks a lot, Jennifer Gates. You couldn't wait <laughs> one minute. What did you want? She to... was in love. She is in love. 
Hopefully. Whatever. All right, so she's married. Whatever. I'm going to like her page on Facebook. Do, do you see Amanda just got super mad Whatever. that somebody's married and happy? 18. <laughs> How old are you, Amanda? Oh, no. 24. Oh, but you've been engaged for, well, no. But you've been in a relationship <laughs> for, what, 12 years? You yeah. were in one when you were 18. Yeah. I we don't weren't... know what that means, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it means something, I guess counts for something it does so there you go so start dating your friends pretty much is what bill gates that's is a great saying. article thank you for really reading that <laughs> Connie and Kurt. are you getting sick no i i don't know what's going on we're a hot mess in here we're a hot mess we are hold on <laughs> hey, i should probably do it too hold on <laughs> <laughs> all right i think we're better I think we sound good now. I don't know what the deal is. Remember, I have the uh, the two month cough, so I don't I don't have a cold. I right. have a cough and a headache that I've, I'm going to have for another month, uh, and we only know this because Elizabeth, my daughter, mm-hmm. had it and it lasted two months. And I have the cold that's on the up end, but now I have all that phlegmy stuff in my chest. Yeah, your cold's almost like- done. <laughs> You're set. So like a dog coming down <laughs> some stairs. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Speaking of stairs. I got to tell you, uh, so we work on the fifth floor of the Huntington Bank building downtown, 50 Monroe. Yes. And uh, sometimes our elevator doesn't work and we have to take the stairs up. Yes. Now it's five flights of stairs and we feel like we're going to die, right? It feels very long when we have to do that. Very long. So Uh last night watching Extreme Weight Loss Makeover Edition. And uh, are they running stairs? Chris calls the woman. It's the first thing, right. and she's at uh, McDonald's in Vegas. You know the McDonald's in Vegas with uh-huh. the big light up thing. She's there eating, and he says, "What are you doing eating McDonald's? You're supposed to uh, be changing your life because I'm going to pick you." And she goes, "Oh my goodness!" He starts out every show by saying he's he by coming to them and saying, you, "You're picked. You're okay. chosen." So he says, "I'm picking you. Here's what you have to do. You have to walk." To the stratosphere, which is a mile down the road, mm-hmm. and come to the top where I am, oh, 112 flights of stairs. Uh, it took her, <laughs> it took her three and a half hours. But I don't know that I could do 112 flights of stairs. No. That doesn't surprise me. I was going to guess three or four hours. She was sopping wet and yep. super sweaty. Yep. It uh, it was crazy. And I was thinking, watching on TV, if you don't know about the stairs, like Katie is like, well, that's no big deal. And I said, we have to walk up five flights Try of stairs at work sometimes, and it is taxing. And we have coworkers who are big runners. Right. They run marathons. They're in very good shape, and it's hard for them to even do it. It is taxing. Five flights. Five flights for Imagine us. Imagine 112. 112 flights no of way. stairs. So she gets to the uh, the top right before uh, like there's one last flight left. And Chris says, hey, you made it. Come on up. And she says, you come down here. And he goes, no, come on. So she walks up and they hug. Pretty exciting stuff. Did she fall over? She did not. And he's like, oh, I kept you up all night because she was going home and stopped at McDonald's in Vegas. So she didn't get to go to bed. She had to then walk upstairs for three hours. Cray. That sounds horrible. I mean, so bad. We should try. Did it, she though. ever get to eat her McDonald's? Uh, she ate it. Well, she was eating it there, and I'm oh, sure she okay. finished it. Right? <laughs> You're not going to give that up. This is the last time I can have McDonald's for a year. I'm eating this. Mm-hmm. She didn't make it though. They say everything in moderation, though. You don't have to not have McDonald's right. again for the rest of your Just life. Just don't right? have uh, five Big Macs and a right. large fry and two Cokes. Oh, Don't man, it's so good. Isn't that the best <laughs> meal ever? I was laughing. Uh, we, so good. We just introduced the girls to the Egg McMuffin mm-hmm. because uh, we were on the road, and I said, oh, I want one of these. Who else wants one? And nobody wanted one because they don't know what that is. Right. I'm like, no, you do want one. You trust so me. they went around, and the girls like, these are the best. And I said, do you feel a little bad that you're helping them fall in love oh, with McDonald's? But they're so good. <laughs> they are so good. And it's like, yeah, they're real good until you find that you're eating 10 of them. You know, mm-hmm. you buy a 10 pack and you're on a drive and you just are eating Egg McMuffins your whole drive and you're sitting in a car so you're not doing any cardio. You're not burning any calories. Right. You're just driving uh-huh. the old sit and eat. But they're so good. So, so and those good. Those hash browns. Okay, let's stop talking about food. <laughs> those hash browns are delicious, <laughs> right? And how let's do they make them shaped food. like little surfboards? I don't know. Like they, they just smash them. <laughs> <laughs> little sur- I've never thought of them as being little surfboards. What do you think they look like? I mean, they look like little surfboards, yeah. but I've never thought <laughs> yeah. of that before. Yeah, you don't ever get like a Barbie out and she surfboards, she surfs on your hash brown. 
No. Okay. <laughs> well, you could. You could start doing that. Barbie and Ken hanging out on the hash brown. We do that a lot of times. You are so weird. We like it. Well, because sometimes things they're too hot. Things that you do because you have kids versus things that no, I do. No, this is uh, things that Katie and I would do before we had the kids. We don't do it anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't play with your food All right. Anymore. We were talking about stairs and having to climb a million of them. Hi, yeah. Zeus. Hey, how's it going? Good. Going How are great. you? Good. Uh, I know going down the stairs isn't as hard as going upstairs, but I used to work on the 32nd floor of a building, and every year we'd have fire drills, and everyone had to go down oh. all 32 floors, and oh. everyone would be puking pretty much after we got down from the fire drill. Now, yeah. Did they at least let you take the elevator back up after the all clear? Yes, you could take the elevator back up. Okay. Where yeah. was this? What city? Uh, down Detroit. In Detroit, okay. okay. So 32 floors down. Yeah, the down, I mean, it's kind of... It's uh, still hard, though. But, but gravity kind of helps you. Yo, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you're like, boom, 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 boom. But going up... How long just... did it take you to get down 32 flights, Zeus? Oh, he's gone. Oh, uh, we lost him. I wonder how long it would take. Well, but, right, because you got to know if you're going to make it for the fire. Yeah, I'm right? kidding. Because if it takes you, it took her three hours to get to the top of the stratosphere... That tower would have burned down. Uh huh. You know, she would not have made it out of there. So that uh, they go down thirty-two flights. Figure what she was averaging a minute a flight going up. <laughs> remember when we would have to walk up five flights and our legs were like noodles? Yeah. Like, we, what? And do you remember that we were shaking? Yes. Like, oh my god! And I would we were be so out of shape. I would be sweating. I know. <laughs> like, and I would be like, "Don't talk to me. I need to sit here for just like two minutes." Five in the morning. I'm sweating. <laughs> I just walked up five flights of stairs. What's wrong with us? <laughs> One time when we had to do that, I had made it chili dog day without realizing, so I was also oh. carrying like the crock pot oh, and all the stuff. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. That is the worst. Speaking of chili dog yeah, day. Yeah, no kidding. What happened to chili dog day? <laughs> what a- well, maybe maybe tomorrow. Because last I mean, Monday, we'll be at Meyer tonight. last Monday was Connie's birthday. Mm-hmm. So the Friday beforehand, August 8th, was going to be chili dog day to right. surprise Connie. Right. And, and then that fell through. And then it was going to be sometime <laughs> last week. And then that obviously fell through, <laughs> and now it's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It's falling. It's falling through again. Because I wanted it to be a surprise. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> surprise. <laughs> it hasn't happened. Connie and Curtis. I was just reading about moods. Okay. And things that put women in a better mood. Oh, nice. Versus things that put men in a better mood. Okay. And it kind of made me laugh a little bit. Are there some differences? Yeah. So, um so the the number one answer in the survey for things what site will put a woman in a better mood? Okay. Um what do you think the number one answer is? A uh, guy doing yard work. Nope, a cute animal. A, okay. <laughs> Which cute. explains like the whole cat and puppy thing oh, on, online. Oh, okay, look at this. What do you think the number one answer is for men? Uh Number one thing that'll put them in a better mood. Probably a hot, hot lady. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. It is. See, that's just speaking from experience. We like little puppies and kittens, and you like hot chicks. Yes, we do. We like them a lot. Mucho. It's pretty funny. It is. It's Um, great. So the top five for women, (laughs) things that put you in a better mood instantly, that's number one, cute animal, and then uh, a beautiful beach, a smiling baby, flowers, and people laughing. And for men... um, Number two is a beautiful beach, watching sports, a steak, and people laughing. I love it. I love it. I don't know that a beach, I mean, if you could go a beautiful woman bringing you a steak while you're watching sports, that right there. And I guess if you're on the beach and people are laughing, that is the ultimate day. You're on a beach, beautiful woman's bringing you a steak while you're watching sports, Uh and people are laughing. It's true. That is the time. It's why I have poof. I just changed all my uh, wallpaper and everything for my okay. new phone, and I put my favorite poof picture because every time I turn my phone makes on, makes you smile. It makes me smile. Look at that. Do you have Emmy as a saver, like a I, wallpaper? I do have Emmy. Yep. Really? That's funny. You what know do what you I, have? I had just have the classic. Steak. I have nothing. No. <laughs> a beer. <laughs> I wish you would put a steak. I, I will change it. No, I have wallpaper. nothing. I just have the background that came with my phone. Oh. I, I have not changed. Do you have a specialized it. ring, or did you do you just have the no, I Nokia just, ring? Yeah. Just <laughs> Hello? Mm. I have the old school bell ring because oh, okay. I like that, like my phone. Because sometimes it would be like a, a fun dance beat, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't hear it, but I'd be like grooving, and then I, I would <laughs> hear realize, the- oh, that's like, oh, my yeah, phone. Duh. Yeah, and then i hear the boom, and it was my, my voicemail. I'm like, oh, I missed another call. So I had to set it to, because if it's, it's a f- fun song. Uh-huh. What is this music coming out of my pocket? I like it. I don't understand why it's happening. Or you don't want to answer because the song isn't over. 
right? right you want to get a little love more. It. And you're like, oh, I got to keep mm-hmm. this. I got to hang on to this. That used to happen when I had ABBA as my, uh, <laughs> my <laughs> You zone. can dance. Dancing queen. You can sing. <laughs> happy the time of uh, your life. Ooh, was it the whole that song girl. that would play or did it start over? Uh, I think it was the whole song. Okay. And so I would be very annoyed when I had to <laughs> finally answer the phone. And would it let it ring for the whole time? No, I would never hear the it end of it. Off. It would cut off. Oh. Yeah. Then that's when you change your voicemail message to, hey, thanks for calling and letting me hear Dancing Queen by ABBA. I didn't answer because I really like that song. Maybe I'll More call you back. More than I wanted to talk to you, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to hear my favorite song. Maybe I'll call you back. Probably I won't. You know what? I'm dancing. Unless your name is Fernando, I'm not coming back to you uh, at all. Or Chikatita. What Chikatita. Uh, is Chikatita a song? Chikatita. Is. Chikatita, I've never even heard of that. Chikatita, Chikatita you wrong. and I know. Oh. Yeah. Do you know every ABBA song? Probably not, but I feel like I do. Yeah. I know. Aren't they all the same, pretty no. much? They all sound the same? No. It's like two guys singing and then two girls singing, and, they, <laughs> and then they all like smile and they're happy. And then, hey, we're from Sweden. No. That's not how they go? Do they ever mention Sweden? Not that I can recall. Okay, because right Fernando is not a Swedish name. No. So why is she digging but on him? But it's like, you know... Amanda, From I'm surprised Europe. you know so much about ABBA. Okay, here's why I know so much about ABBA. Because Connie loves ABBA. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on. Brown when I was younger, her. there mm-hmm. was this group called the A-Teens, also from Sweden, and they did their first album was entirely ABBA what? covers. The A-Teens? A-Teens, yes. Like A-Teens? Yes. Okay. And Never I them. love them. I loved, and so they put out a you music video for them. Dancing Queen, and I loved that song. My mom was like... Don't you realize that that's like an old song? But I kept following these this group A teens, okay. and you know the they a- had other songs that were not. The A okay, teens was a Swedish pop music group from Sweden, <laughs> formed in 1998 as an ABBA tribute band uh, called ABBA Teens. So then they shortened it to A teens. Okay. Worldwide success in 2001, six million albums sold. <laughs> After did you s- buy an album, Amanda? I did. I and then I bought their okay. second one, and if there was a third one, I probably bought that one too. But their their second one was all no original stuff. No way. Yes way. <laughs> no yes, way. Yes way. How would I know that if I didn't buy it? I probably still have it. I'll find. I'll bring it in. Oh, I would love to hear it. What the Maybe heck? Maybe I need is to have going, it on my phone. What is going on? The ABBA Teens is your favorite <laughs> yeah. band well, from I your mean, childhood. Yeah, it was like between the ages of eight and eleven. I loved them. Never, like they were on the radio. Loved them. Yes. You, you obviously loved them. you obviously heard their song on the radio. Mm-hmm. What radio station did you hear their song on? I don't know. Pro- they like would re- they would play the newer version of Dancing Queen that they had done. Who? It was like it was number one. It was number one on TRL like for a while. Oh, it was on okay. TRL. Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains. It. What the heck is going on? Boom! With this? Blow your mind. Who's even heard of these people? Well, apparently, like six million people had heard of them. They even... that's how many copies they sold of their album, did, right? Did you see them on the 2002 Pop Till You Drop tour? I didn't, but I wish I would have. <laughs> I like wish... Dancing on the Ceiling. That was an original one that they did. That's a that great song. That is a Lionel Richie that's song. Li- <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, maybe it's the same title, but it's not oh, the same song. What a feeling! <laughs> yeah, does it go like this? Dancing on the ceiling. No. Oh, what a feeling, dancing on the it's ceiling? It's called like Upside Down, dancing on the ceiling. Okay, hold on. We got to talk to Lynn. When Hi, Upside Lynn. Down was released in 2001, it became their biggest hit in the U.S. Lynn. Hi. Do you also have ABBA as ringtone? <laughs> I do not. I, I didn't really care for ABBA. Oh, no. But, um, but I do love Game of Thrones. So okay. when my phone rings, I hear the Game of Thrones theme song, mm-hmm. and I never want to answer the phone because it reminds me of the show. Yes. There it's you so go. Bad. We need to put stop putting things we love as our ringtone. And that's why I just have the generic, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just pick it right up. How does the Game so of Thrones song go, Lynn? Oh, geez. Um, da, 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 da. That's it. I... <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want that to go off at a wedding, though. Da, da, <laughs> well, no, da, da. You know, I can silence it. You know. I mean, but... if you're sitting at my wedding and the Game of Thrones theme starts playing, I'm looking around to find out who's dying. It's at very this majestic da, da, and um, da, da. instrumental. Yeah, <laughs> sounds <It's> fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it. Thanks, Lynn. They. Uh, 
This A teens group that you're They're talking the about, greatest. Curtis cannot get over this. Like I, I can't wait. Like I want to go through my CDs and find these and put them in my car because that is how happy it will make me. They were Aww. the first international artist to ever appear on a soda can in Thailand. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and that's why I love them. Yeah, I mean, people in Thailand love them. They're so great. They played a show in Chicago. They were in Philadelphia. Uh, they did. It seems they did two shows here. They wow. then uh, went on tour with Aaron Carter, who we all know and uh-huh. love. <laughs> My goodness, love him too. Never even heard of this band, A Teens. Well, and so great. And we were so ABBA cover out. band of kids. Uh huh. But then they went on to do their own thing. Like you know, what? Teen Spirit 2001. I know I have that CD for sure. Teen Spirit is definitely there. Uh, so you were saying that 6 million people uh, are their fan because of all the CDs. Mm-hmm. Uh, about 500,000 in the U.S. So you Very and half up. a million other people know who this band is. <laughs> now all of our listeners do. I'm sure there's going to be a rush on 18 so it's another downloads six. today. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we're up to 500,006. Tony and Curtis. Con-